Yeah, so I got good the old Vauxhall Corsa, my daughter's the headlamp bulb on the passenger side has gone, the low, the dip beam. And um, I thought, right, look in the manual. So here's the manual on Lino, it's the same manual. And it says, um, there's a few bits of waffle about removing this, that, and the other, getting out of the way. But um, And then just disengage your wire clicker, remove the protective cover, which seems like good, and then remove the bulb. And it's all very straightforward, except that if you look online, you can't get this cover off because there's absolutely no room to move. And on the passenger side, the fuse box is in the way, and the fuse box can't be moved out of the way. So this is pure fantasy, this manual. Um, and even I spoke to the um, um, Vauxhall Garage guy, and um, he said, I'll bring it down, we'll do it for you. There may be a charge. So it's not straightforward. So um, the video that follows just shows you what I did to... Uh, to change the bulb and looking online there was a few videos that were okay but they weren't the best so hopefully my effort will help you in changing your headlamp bulb but. so here's the offending car <clears throat> i've never seen such a convoluted uh, procedure to change a headlamp bulb bear in mind it's just a bulb in the manual as we discussed it's all it's wrong it's uh, a completely useless manual frankly i haven't been down to the local voxel dealers but um I worked on one or two videos online, they weren't very clear, so I just thought I'd just um, go over it because it's not straightforward. Okay, so what you're going to need, you're going to need a, a small socket set, you need 8mm and, are they all 8mm? Yeah, an 8mm socket, and you also need a longer bar because one of the headlamp bolts is down through this hole here, underneath there, and be careful you don't drop it. But the bolts you need to take out to start with to get this headlamp out, you can see there's the fuse box, I've taken the lid off, it's been raining slightly, which is not ideal. And it says in the manual to undo that clip as we discussed and push that cover back, but um, it, you just can't get in there, it's ridiculous, you're going to have to take the headlamp out just to change the bulb. The manual is wrong, presumably this box has been relocated at some point and blocks it off. You may have more joy on the driver's side over there because there's more room, you can see in there. There's the air filter box which you could remove and possibly you could get access to the driver's side but on the passenger side I think it's a headlamp out job and certainly that's what it says on the internet. So the bolts you need to remove, you can see this one down here, that's at the top of the headlamp, there's the headlamp going up, this is the passenger headlight, that bolt, it's already standing up, I've undone it, that bolt has to come out so take that one out, number one. The second bolt you need to take out is on this fascia, you can see where this um, bonnet icon and uh, motif is, there's a plastic moulding. And there's a row of bolts, one bolt there, two, three bolts, and four bolts. Again, eight millimeter. You can see they're standing up because I've already removed them. Um, so take those four out, okay? Now, <clears throat> once you've done that, if, I, if we just remove these now quickly by hand, there is, underneath there, is a, I'll take those out. Um, so under there, so that's those four been removed. Now under this cover you can see, can you see down there, there's the actual headlamp, that bracket at the front is the, with a hole in it, that's where that bolt goes in for the headlamp and that bolt is accessible from here, from this hole in the top and the idea is you're supposed to poke around but unless you've got a socket to hold it you're going to have to pull this forward and put it, when you put it back, put it back by hand and the bolt that was in there is this one. It's a very long self-screwing um, bolt. It's quite rusty actually. Eight millimeter head again, but probably about one and three quarter inches long, okay? So I'm gonna put that in by hand rather than trying to feed it down because if you feed it down the end of your socket, actually the hole, the washer won't go through the hole anyway. So again, the manual is wrong in that respect. And then finally, what I understand is, once you've done that, the thing still won't come out. It's still fixed in because there are two bolts underneath or one bolt or two bolts I'm not quite sure actually they're more unclear but underneath and to do that we need to get access to the inside of the inner wing under there so I'm just gonna I've got a ramp here at home so just to give you a better view I'm gonna raise it up and then film what's in there to be taken out this panel here the side panel has to be pulled out so that you can get to this bolt to get to release the headlight so we're gonna be doing that in a moment before it starts to rain it's September, end of September in the UK, and um, it's like April showers. One minute it's sunny, the next minute it's absolutely chucking it down. So anyway, um, without further ado, I'll raise it up slightly so you can see it, and then we'll have a look under there and see what we can remove. 
Um, you can do it from the ground, so, but it's easier if I just jack it up because I can film at the same time. So hopefully with a bit of jiggery pokery, I should be able to show where these bolts are. I don't know if you can see those. Let's just try this. Spot meter. You see those? There's one down here. Let's try zooming in. Hold on. Right, so the first bolt is down there, right on the curvature. Can you see it there? That's the first bolt, and then if we work our way up the wing, we can find the second bolt up here somewhere, just uh, about here, just where the split line of the wing and the balance is, there's another bolt just in there. You can see it there, the head of it's just where my finger is. See the split line here? You can see the, the bolt there. And the size is, I think, a torx bit is required and the size of the torx bit is T15 okay so we've got T15 torx bit to put in there okay so I'm just going to undo these two bolts you don't just need to see me undoing them I'll take them out and then we'll resume okay so those two bolts are now removed so we've got the uh, two bolts from in here removed and then you can see there's the uh, lower balance part the lower wing and what you have to do is grab hold of this I'll just do it with my other hand without dropping the camera hopefully under there and just pull it and then okay now that we've pulled this away i'm going to show you which bolt you need to take out to remove the headlight if we look in here look just pull it away slowly and look towards the front you'll see that red stopper that one see it in the middle of the picture now that is what we need to remove and actually it looks like an expanding plug so i think you just need to loosen the bolt to allow that rubber kind of pliable plug that it's screwed into to um, relax and so it's not distended and it should just pull through the hole so I'm going to do it like this I just back off now you can see it I'm going to go in from the front with a long socket and put it on there and just loosen off that bolt and see if we can withdraw the headlight so I'll just undo it a few turns and we'll see where how we get on do you know what this just shows that how these people that make these cars now don't expect ordinary people to do anything even as simple as change a bulb because unless I've got something completely wrong this is getting more and more complicated so you wrestle the headlight out carefully by pulling this away and just check, get the headlamp in this position and can you see under there and perhaps you can't even see it, can you see that's the socket I pulled out that plug there with the red um, see that red lever sticking out up, when I've got the headlamp clear I'll show you more clearly where it plugs in but it plugs into a socket just at the bottom of the headlamp down there and if you can even really see it from where we are you can, perhaps you can just on the edge of it but it's under there anyway and to get it out you have to push that red thing through with a screwdriver so I'll just show you that when I've got the headlamp out so let's remove it and then um, we'll go on to the next bit so just to recap that's the screw that I took out from the front part of the headlamp it goes into uh, that receptacle down there this one you can see that down there on the front of the wing this is where I am on the wing it goes in that receptacle down there and it was necessary to pull it all out it wasn't a distended plug type fixing fitting it was necessary to remove the whole screw okay so that's that's the screw that goes in there and the two screws that hold the um, inner wing into position to allow you to get the wing out are these two all right and they're t15s all right so that's that okay we're going to stick the headlamp back in now it's very straightforward just the reverse of what we did before so there's the evil connector that you have to plug in have you got that in focus very good. Now here's the plug that goes into that evil connector you can see that's the action it's this red locking collar that slides in and out. Um, I pushed it from the other end actually uh, to push it out so you can push it from either end or get hold of it from behind but um, so you just have to offer it up like so plug her in to there make sure it's fully engaged and then slide in the locking collar and give it a tug a good old tug to see if it comes out or not uh, there you go so that's done so now we slide it back in position then put those bolts back in and that is then job done so that's how you change the headlamp bulb on the passenger side of a Corsa D I hope you enjoyed that found it useful and if you can just uh, subscribe to the button down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen just down there